In this Squarespace tutorial, we're going to learn how to change the fonts on your website. So here we have on my main page, we have uh, just a little bit of a blurb of text. If we go to pages, choose another page, uh, let's say availabilities. This is just the basic website um, that I chose. Uh, this is the template, so it's not... Um, it's not really uh, anything that I have done, but this is what we have here. So we start out here on this uh, menu. We have pages, design, commerce, analytics, comments, settings. So what I wanna do is I wanna go to design and then we're gonna go to style editor. So this is where you can choose the style of your website. So you can change everything about your website here. I'm not going to go into all of it, but what we're going to do is we're going to go down to uh, main content. All right, so, and then we want page text font. If we click that drop down arrow, we can see that the current font is called Kaluna. So I'm just going to choose another one. Uh, let's say we'll choose something so that it's noticeable when I make the change let's call it uh, we'll choose this one Julius Sands one so we'll click on that and you can see that the style of the main font has changed all right I'm gonna choose one that looks a little bit better than that so let's just say we're gonna go with uh, Alice up here change that okay and then what I'm gonna do is so we can choose the size from here right now the uh, standard text font is at 16 so if I make it 18 you will see uh, the size of the uh, font will increase and you can also change the letter spacing and the line height and the weight of the font so um, you can change everything about the font here. All right, so now we have heading one font. So this would change any heading one uh, elements on your website. So right now they're set to Europa size 32. So you can change them to whatever you like. And there's heading two font, heading three font, and you can also change the color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our page text color and we're gonna make it uh, maybe darker. Instead of a gray, we'll make it black. Okay, not really uh, noticing much difference there, but if we change it to blue, obviously you're gonna notice the difference on the page. Okay, so that is where you change the color. You can change the link color as well, so um any links on your page we will uh we will see so this is a link right here this template courtesy of and so if we change the link color page link color let's say we want to make it a blue just drag it like that or if we wanted to make links red or orange or whatever color you want so that is where you change the color of the text okay and so you can if you scroll through you can find uh, color changes for basically everything uh, the banner heading uh, font banner text font up here your nav links which is your menu so right now you can see that our nav links are white which go well with this dark background so we're going to change those nav links to red. Okay, that's actually not a very good option because a little bit tough to see. So if we make them yellow, you can see that they are easier to see now. Uh, the active link is still white. That means we are on the info page. So if we uh, want to leave that, if we now click on availabilities, let's say, uh, if we went to the availabilities page, so let's save our changes. And I'm going to 
hit it. We're gonna go gonna go back to design. We're gonna click here to make this full screen. If I click on availabilities, and then number five east end. So now you can see availabilities has gone white because that's the active link color. All right, so let's go back here and you can see the changes that we have made. So again, if I click this little arrow, we get our menu back. I'm gonna go back to home. So once again, just a quick little refresh to change the fonts for basically everything on your site, your, uh, your main content, your uh, headings, your menu. What we do is we go to pages, or sorry, screwed that up. We go to design, and then we go to the style editor. And once the style editor loads, you will be able to see all of the uh, changes that you can make. Nav link font, uh, and then down under main content, we have our page text font, heading one font, and so on. So everything design related that you want to change on your Squarespace website is found under design and then style editor. All right, so that brings an end to this uh, Weebly, or sorry, Squarespace tutorial. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to ask any questions in the uh, in the comments. I'll be happy to answer anything that I can. And have a great day, everybody.